Right now, we have Fort Worth and DC. Fort Worth's gonna kick this ball off to start things out. DC's offense will be on the field first as we get things underway. Kick is in the air, and we are ready to go in our nation's capital. Out to the 10, the 15, to the 20, 25. Spin at the 25, gets all the way to the 33 yard line. We'll go over the rest of the offense here in just a moment. Six on the play clock on first down. Backing it up, throwing over the middle. That one's caught. First down and more, and uh, spine buster right before the 45-yard line is Lauren Prococo. Synergy with the heavy set look. This will be a pitch play to the fullback, and a first down gotten as well. That is awesome work by Chuck Steller, the fullback, able to get to the outside, give DC a first down. Nice first drive for DC, a lot of balance, a lot of forward movement. Yeah, a good methodical drive to start. There's another pitch play to Stellar, and he will, they're going to say he got the first down. I beg to differ. I have a feeling the uh, Fort Worth sideline will have something to say as well. We'll see. Look, at this is his first attempt this playoff season. 36 yards left hash. Snap is well handled. Kick is up and on the way. It looks like it's down the middle, and it is, and that's going to be DC's first strike. Nine plays, 47 yards, a little better than three minutes taken off the clock. DeSantis was the one at the very end who had a shot at it. Third and 18, three to the right, one to the left. Dunhill backs up, looks to throw. Trying to keep this drive alive. He's got to take off and run and get speared at the 34-yard line. What a hit on defense by Tyler Highfield. It's something going before the end of the first quarter. I think that might have been a mistake. Just kind of let it go. Now they got a punt. It was up and gone. Punt return starting from the 29-yard line for, oh, 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 that's, that's a Mason Kirby, Kirby punt return. Kirby and again. he's down the sideline. He is gone. He is gone. Mason Kirby gets DC up two scores. A punt return touchdown from his own 29-yard line. <laughs> Oof. 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 <laughs> Dunhill throws, intercepted, oh! back the other way. DC turns him over. There is a flag down. We'll see what this is. Face mask on the tackle, I think. Yes, it is indeed. It's a personal foul variety. No incidental wow. Wow. on it. And that is a 15-yarder to get the ball all the way down to the 31-yard line. That is a quick change here for the hometown Oof. Dragons. Just right when Dunhill got some momentum getting those receivers involved. They're going to play it a little bit safe. Let's see if they can send some extra help, though. Nope, they send four. Trying to get home. And they roll him out of the pocket. That's going to be a run for Synergy. And he gets taken down. No slide there at the 12. But he has the first down and more. It's another new set of downs for DC. And I'm telling you, I mean, Fort Worth has got to be a little bit more aggressive. I think they played that way too conservatively. They gave uh, they, they gave Shabazz all that time. Had a 36-yarder earlier. Left hash on this. Kick is handled, or snap is handled well. Kick is up and on the way, and it is through. Touchdown, Fort Worth still absolutely not dead yet. This is it for the Fort Worth Toros. Less than three minutes to go. Dunhill will throw. Oh, it's oh my. Oh! DC grabs it and takes it away. Oh man, what a grab. It is Holmes, the linebacker, and DC takes the ball and possibly this game. Earl Holmes is the substitution for Declan O'Rourke and making a massive, massive imprint on this game. First Not and dead. 10 for DC, all three timeouts and the two minute warning Fort Worth has. See what they can do. Pressure comes. Throws caught. Oh, what a catch. At the 27-yard line is where that one's brought in, and it's none other Mason than Mason Kirby. Kirby. Backs it up. Looks to throw. Throws, and it's caught. Another one that will put them first in goal. DC knocking on the door to a playoff victory. Lyric Da Vinci brings it in. Fort Worth got to get the stop, and they got to get the stop right now. Looking to throw it. Throws. End zone. It's caught for the touchdown. DC is moving on. Lyric Da Vinci finishes off the drive, and the Dragons move to the semifinals. It's a 13 point game. Fort Worth needs to score basically away, and that's going to oh, well, finish never mind. it. Intercepted <laughs> over the middle of the field. And how about DC's defense? Two interceptions on two straight throws to seal it. 
I mean, Marcus Dunhill is just a legend in this league, but three interceptions today, very different impression of what this game really was. Right hash for Potty. Potty, Potty from 46. He had a 36 yard and a 24 yard earlier. High snap, handled well. Kick is up and on the way. It's got the angle, and it is good to make it the 23 to 7 ball game. 17 seconds left. But who knows? It could be Baltimore. Either way, I expect that to be a good game. And wow, what a game. Yep. There you go. Your winners. And moving on to the semifinals, the DC Dragons take out and vanquish the Fort Worth Toros 23 to 7. And in a game, like you mentioned, it was it, like we mentioned earlier, it was not a game that played like 23 to 7. 